All right, this is usually the part of the show where I give you a current event, maybe something that's going on right now. But seriously, I have nothing. I mean, we already discussed the election. I mean, Rod, what do you think we should do today? Welcome to the show, everybody. I'm your host, Rob Rodriguez. Now, I know when you don't want to do something right away or, you know, in a more realistic term, you don't want to do something at all, you try to talk your way out of it. You try to be very smooth. You just don't answer the door. You, you just lock yourself in, you know, binge your Netflix. By the way, I'm on my second series of Power Rangers. Good for me. I mean, when it comes to not wanting to do something, I get this way a lot. What I do is, I, like I said, try to talk my way out of it. But then, there's some cases where I really wish I can just somehow, you know, hypnotize people. Because I feel a little ripped off that I spent ten years wasted trying to do the Jedi mind trick. I mean, even if these aren't the droids you're looking for, uh, we have people who never take responsibility. They always have that designated person, that designated scapegoat, let's say. Yeah, yeah, just, I can hear that faint screaming that never left my brain from 2014. Screaming goat buying. Well, where are we going? So yeah, this scapegoat, or designated person, goes by two aliases. Sibling or best friend. Yeah, so I'm guessing that the Rocky IV soundtrack really didn't make a clear... Everyone misunderstood it. Like, there really is no easy way out, or a shortcut home for that matter. The only shortcut here is this thing that, I, that I'm sporting for the next couple weeks, because this is a shortcut. This is the only shortcut that should exist. I mean, other people sport it, but... Wow, I haven't been bald since August 2015. So yeah, I know some of you may have noticed a pattern throughout March and earlier this month of April. But I've been posting some very spontaneous, generic videos. And then followed by just canceling my vacation days just to entertain you with ideas that literally came to me in a Joseph-style dream. So, in a weird cut, of just trashing the original ending of last week's video, putting the same shirt on, and then talking really fast to you, trying to tell you that I'm going to be around for 50 plus more episodes for this season. Yeah, let's just go on and say that was pretty spontaneous. And finally, someone brought this to my attention. Rob. You used to have a catchphrase. You held on to it. You had some meaning toward it. But then suddenly, like four months ago, you stopped saying it. Well, my friend, I'm here to tell you. And because it's very irrelevant what I've been saying lately, I'm reviving my old catchphrase. Because, you know, there was a weird time where, you know, I changed the names of my videos and suddenly just stopped. Suddenly just stopped saying my catchphrase because, you know, I stopped believing in catchphrases because, you know, how I met your mother really influences you and the whole Tyler no likey stuff. What did I tell you about catchphrases? I'm having a mental breakdown right now, just talking about this. So, without further ado, I bring back my old friend. I need a minute. In the short time 2016 has been with us, we've had so many v viral trends. So many. So, Daniel with the white vans. Even though, personally, I don't know where you originated from, however, I did see your Ellen interview and the trouble you've gotten into. Um, thanks, fine brothers, for letting me know. Enjoy the relevance while it lasts, because, you know, you, you always got the D's nuts in the Gundam style. They all just go away. And then there's that one guy who everyone's like, Why are you still saying that? You live in the past, man. Speaking of relevance, let's talk about songs that are popular now. You got the, you got the 21 Pilots, you got the Halsey, you got um, a lot of decent anthems, of course. Definitely uh, Fetty. 
Uh, I don't know why the heck I'm naming rap references. Am I just trying to gain the periscope view that doesn't even exist? By the way, speaking of relevance, I'm on Snapchat now, but I couldn't fix the I couldn't fix the username to be at Rodriguez Replay. It's actually RR Filmmaker. What was 16-year-old self thinking? So yeah, speaking of relevance, yeah, music. You know, a song is is doomed basically. You know, a song is doomed if it if you hear it in a car commercial. Yeah, that's not a Buick. Yeah, this song's not popular anymore either. Alright, it's time for that weekly list known as the possibility list. It's kind of like when you wonder, what was that thing thrown at you last week? And then I just answer with, Hi, everybody! <laughs> Alright, this, week li this week's list, sorry. This week's list is titled, Five Words Ruined by Music. Now, these are words in songs that have came to us in, like, the last three years. So, let's get started. The- oh, little disclaimer. These are not things I'm making up. These are s actual words from songs that now are tarnished of reputation that were ever good. So, let's see what's at number five. Now, number five, we have Moped. Yeah, because, you know, you, you just want to take it downtown somewhere. N number four. Sorry. After seeing that video, I don't think he's really sorry. Number three. Sugar. See, you're crashing weddings. Didn't uh, Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson kind of teach us all a lesson to not do that? Number two. Whistle. I mean, seriously, you got elementary grade kids singing this. And listen to the lyrics, won't you? Where's Wayne Brady when you need him? Don't forget the lyrics. Don't forget to even analyze them. And number one, five words ruined by music. Wiggle. Okay, well, that is the possibility list for you this week. Well, that is the show for you this week. You know to follow me on social media. Until next time, please enjoy the clip from the vault. I'm gonna see if Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 is even better just wearing these things. Not because the movie's 3D. Because I really don't want to see the poor um, design of the suit. Well, see ya. Some things are so common that... Your instant response is, why am I not surprised?